All right, hello guys. Um, this is my second project. This is basically gonna be a T line design uh, down firing subwoofer. I'm gonna put a uh, 10 inch sub in here. It's gonna be powered. That means it's gonna have an amp um, installed to it. Uh, so I've already gone ahead with the build. So I figured I'd make a video right now to show you uh, how it's going to look like. And basically this is the uh, top right here. It's on its side right now as you can see it's clamped down. Uh, I've made a couple of uh, curves. I'll, I'll remove those in a second. Um, I've been letting it dry overnight but um, basically here basically this here this is the front all this is gonna be the front like I said it's on its side right now so this is the front this over here is the top uh, down here is the bottom obviously I'm gonna have a uh, MDF down here where the sub is gonna be it's gonna be pointing down like I said it's gonna be a down firing uh, setup here this is going to be, the, I'm also going to have another uh, top right here to it and the final uh, MDF on top. Uh, this is about two and a quarter inch opening or port if you will. Uh, down here is also two and a quarter uh, space and as well as the inside port is also two and a quarter inch um, opening. And then it goes, let's see if you can see it, uh, almost, yeah, down there. Um, down here on this side, like I said, uh, is, is where I'm going to have the sub. Back here where these uh, clamps are is going to be the, uh, I'm, I'm going to install the uh, the amp, this amp here by Dayton Audio. It's a 250 watt amp. Um, let's see here. You can see that it has, uh, let's see, the high level input uh, from the amplifier, if you will. If you have a, a, an amplifier you want to hook it up to, this is going to be obviously the outputs to the speaker. Uh, if you want to just do a pass through or whatever it's called, um, or a low level input and output as well, um, the gain and frequency goes down from 40 up to 180 Hertz uh, let's see here this this is actually where the, this amp is gonna sit in and it's gonna sit on the back uh, the other two three pieces I have is the top and bottom and this is obviously the other side that is gonna go on top so I'll go ahead and remove these blocks for now okay let's see here And I'll take off these clamps as well. Like I said, it's been drying overnight and uh, it's pretty secure now. It's not going anywhere. As you can see. So let me talk a little bit about these curves. I actually saw a couple of YouTube videos. I'll probably add the link in the description. Um, I, I saw this guy um, doing it. He explained it very well. How to get the uh, give me a second. How to get the calculation for the actual diameter because it's only a quarter of a diameter of a circle. So it, he explains how to do it. And off the top of my head, I could tell you it's basically you know let's say you want a diameter of ten inches. Well, you basically take 10 inches times pi pi is 3.14 so it's 10 times 3.14 and because you're only using a quarter of a diameter you divide it by 4 and it tells you the you, you come up with the number and that's basically the inches that it's going to take you to do this so basically for instance I think mine was 7 inches so from here to here in a straight line I'm sorry from here 
to here is 7 inches and then between that I evenly space 11 cuts so I think he's, he says do 12 but I think I only did 11 for both this one and this one and as you can see there it comes out just just perfect uh, one thing I did forget to do on this one is that I didn't fill it up with glue he suggests that you fill it up with glue before you bend it to the 90 degree I did with this one that's why you could see the you know overfill with glue down here but um, I didn't do it with this one so I'll, I'll probably just um, put some glue in um, over it and then uh, sand it down and this one I just need to sand down as you can see these two ends this one and this one didn't didn't bend all the way which I don't know if you can see that but see how there looks nice and clean here except for this one I'll probably fill it up with some kind of uh, filler or something so that the air can flow smoothly and then I'll just sand it down okay and just to give you an idea what it's gonna look like uh, like I said this is gonna be the top side bottom side down here I'm gonna cut out um, the cutout for the uh, 10 inch subwoofer down here and like I said it's gonna be pointing down this is the bottom here uh, the air is gonna be traveling from here from this chamber all the way through here back this way and finally out and there you go I haven't glued these in place or screwed them in place yet um, I just want to put them up to show you what it would look like back here this big old opening that's where the amplifier that I talked about earlier this one is gonna be and there you go so Stay tuned while I keep working on this.